Uh, obviously, since I don't have a car, it's probably no mystery to you that uh, I'm very familiar with the dollar store. Thank you. Yes, dollar store friendly people. <laughs> We've got a little something on the 99 cent stores. <laughs> I mean to be snobby, but I do go to the dollar store. <laughs> I don't want to brag, but yeah. So uh, you know you're broke when you do all your shopping at the dollar store and you have to put some stuff back because it's too expensive. <laughs> Sorry, fancy ketchup, not today. <laughs> And when I go to the dollar store, I kind of take my time and I look around at everything because, uh, let's face it, if you're shopping at the dollar store, you got time to kill. <laughs> you know, I've never been to the dollar store and been like, man, I'd love to stick around and buy some more food that's about to expire, but I got to get to my job. <laughs> that's not something you say. But uh, in my time perusing the dollar store, I noticed that you can decorate your apartment from there. So I did. I got, uh, I got some silk flowers and some of those candles with the saints on them. <laughs> my bedroom doesn't look very romantic. It looks like a Mexican funeral home. <laughs> So that's what I got. Um, so let's see, before I did comedy, I uh, had a job for a number of years where I had to wear a name tag. And uh, personally, for me, it doesn't matter what my name tag says, it just means uh, I've made some poor decisions with my life. <laughs> oh, really? Give me a break. Like, my name tag doesn't need to say Zan, it just needs to say, didn't go to med school. <laughs> Became a comic, now she doesn't have a car. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? C'est la vie. La vie! Uh, my job was that I was a massage therapist, by the way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what massage therapists are thinking when we're working on you? Nothing. 